and gamers alike out there, and uh, welcome to another special live stream of Arkham Twin Days of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy, and um, you guys are w uh, wondering, wow, when, how was I was not responding for those first two premieres is because of, uh, well, uh, I'm gonna have to tell you this right now from it it kind of happened uh, Monday if you want to know and it was hi the Red Knight and Kevin how's it going you two hi Kyle welcome oh boy since you guys are here and I'm doing all right but I'm I'm going to I'm going to summon the uh, summon you guys up for this because how come why wasn't I in the premieres is because you're wondering and you're asking where did Leo go where did he go to <clears throat> well um I got well uh I broke my left forearm I'm not kidding I I broke my left forearm in real life because uh, I was driving a, in a four-wheeler and wanted to go pick up my brother and um, I it helped it was it happened after I ended the live stream because when, when you left Kyle and Simons was the only mod left because I know he yeah I yeah I broke my left forearm in two pieces I broke it in two pieces of my left forearm completely and it is really scary and I am not kidding and then I the reason why I wasn't able to I wasn't be able to show up those premieres is because I was in the hospital for two days. I was completely in the hospital for two two days. I'm not making this up. This happened just before I ended this live stream on a Monday. And I had to go pick up my brother driving a four-wheeler because I tried to drive the white pickup truck and the battery was dead. And the... It was, it was in the afternoon, I, I tried to get there as fast as I could, I was making, oh thank you the Red Knight, and, and I was driving so fast, I tried to make that curb, I tried to make that turn on that curb and all of a sudden I lost control. I lost control I because I was so focused on getting to pick up my brother and then I went down the hill hit a ditch broken through um, on, on a fence and then I I, I I was leaning too far forward and then making a sudden stop and then I launched myself off the ATV four-wheeler and uh, I broke my left forearm and landed on my lower right palm and I broke my forearm in two pieces completely and I was not being able to move. I'm I was able to move and I I had to get up. I could barely move my hand. It was like it's like my it's like I seen a ghost. Completely I've seen a ghost. I nearly passed out. Yeah, I almost I almost died, if you want to know. I almost died, if you want to know, in real life. And I I'm not I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up, the Red Knight. I I wish I was, but I'm telling you the truth, and it's it was not the most it's a It's <laughs> my.
my body, my physical body was about to give out, but my soul, however, did not quit. It did not quit. It, I just kept on going to pick up my brother from school onto that part, onto that spot to where I pick him up every weekday. My eyesight was going, my eyesight was getting blurry, but I never stopped. I looked both ways across the street while driving the four-wheeler, and I never stopped. My, my physical body says no, but my entire soul, and I am not kidding you, said no because it happened in a supernatural way it just completely Kevin says Leo don't drive fast because we are so worried about you I know I know what I'm telling you is what is what I'm saying to you is true it's um I'm sorry, Kevin, it, and I'm sorry, the Red Knight, Kyle, and those who are watching this live stream. It wasn't supposed to be like that because I almost died. And it wasn't supposed to be this way. Now I have a, I have a cast that I'm wearing, and it's been two days since I'm wearing this cast, because uh, right now, um, I need to wear this cast for two weeks, I thought I was going to be wearing this cast for like, five to eight weeks, but instead, it's two weeks, the good news is, my tendons are still intact, in other words, I can still move my muscles, completely, and I'm, I was still on the brink of pain. I, I just didn't give in to the pain. I was, my, my very own soul, like, just took over from my own physical body. It's like, I became Bruce Lee, and I just get to my brother to pick him up like a boss. Yes, like a boss. What I did was just, like, almost superhuman, like, or supernatural, wh whichever you call it. It's just completely beyond my belief or anyone's belief. It is just unbelievable. I mean, you cannot imagine how the pain I felt the torture, the suffering, because I, I, I wanted to go pick up my brother, but I, I told him I was about to pack, I'm, 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 I just need to find a place to lie down, and I was, I can't not believe I was not losing that much blood, and I, um, it was, it was the most unforgettable experience that why did that how did I able to get there is beyond measure yeah I have a really strong will that, that uh, strong will like uh, you know Green Lantern uh, how has the strongest will in the universe besides Batman and because of that I I didn't give in to the pain. I just kept on focusing to pick up my brother, even on the brink of death. Yeah, I was staring death in the face, if you want to know, completely. Uh-huh. It was... <laughs> I, I know the red died, and it's... My family, my entire family cannot believe how powerful, how strong I am 
not just physically, but on the inside, my very own soul is somewhat to that of Hal Jordan's, who is Green Lantern, just going to pick up my brother without stopping and still looking both ways across the street and watching out for cars. It is, it is all, it's like, it's almost, what you're doing is almost superhuman. It's like nobody had that kind of will to live, but I did. I, I was so focused was just to reaching my brother this whole time and I never stopped. And after that, I had to go to, yeah. Oh, yeah. I be back. Kevin Mohammed in his own Terminator words of the Terminator. I be back. Uh. Oh, my goodness. Something tells me I am also going to frighten viewers who are, from, who are Wingding fans as well from the Let's Plays about about my broken left forearm because I, I can still type, but I cannot type that fast because I can only type with my right hand with just my right hand. And that's about it. I, I just, I can't type with both hands if you want to know. So, uh, as for the premieres that I try to put up with those, uh, how should I continue or should I just wait off until my right arm gets better if you want to know because uh, it's um, I'm still right here with you guys it's mm. and this is why this channel is 13 plus and up uh-huh what I, yeah, what I'm telling you is the truth, the Red Knight. I mean, in a real-life situation, I mean, it just happened on Monday afternoon when I ended that live stream, this very special live stream, and I came back on Wednesday, went, ended up in the hospital, and then I came back on Wednesday. The Red Knight says you should wait until my hand, your hand is fixed. You, um, you mean my forearm? Yeah. I'm gonna try to, as much as I want to put those premieres up, I'm gonna try to hold off. But uh, what is uh? His name is actually Kevin, but I call him Kaioken Man. I can't say the B-O-Y anymore because the stupid FTC are idiots. I just, I, I just don't understand why. You have to, uh, Ke Kyle Bryant says you have to take a break or play some turn based on such slow paced games where you can play one handed well um uh, there is uh i still want to finish gotcha memories i mean it doesn't require both hands it requires like it, i can do it in one hand perhaps which is not a problem of course there are some games you have to do if you have to play with both hands <laughs> Uh, if it's a strategy combat tactic wise like Fire Emblem and I, I, I would possibly say I would take my time because I would be in no rush uh, the Halo games however since I'm doing a Halo another Halo series such as Halo 3 I got to be mm, cautious on that so yeah I already did two episodes before my accident of my broken forearm on my left side. 
and now I need to do eight more episodes to finish up. And doing the comic strip thumbnails by yourself is not easy. And have I seen a doctor? Yeah, I, I, I've been to a doctor. Of course, he operated on my left arm. He put in a couple of screws with some titanium plates. Yeah, and people are going to say, Wow, you're going to be called Iron Man! <laughs> later levels will be to... Later levels will be to active on Halo 3, even on easy, if I recall. Oh, um... If you... Yeah, I mean, I will do a Halo... Another Halo series, because... The Halo series is like its own... Has its very own Arkhamverse before there was an Arkhamverse of Batman. So, Halo has its own Arkhamverse. So, yeah. An Arkhamverse within an Arkhamverse. Uh, so, there is... The first game of Halo, the second, Isla Flash, welcome! And, uh, I bet, um, if you guys are wondering, uh, why don't you tell La Flash about him, besides me for, for summing it up, if you want to know, because it's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's right, Kyle. Kyle says Leo broke his, his arm, my left arm, in two pieces. It happened after that, after, it happened after I finished that live stream on a Monday, when I picked up, when I was trying to go pick up my brother, and I tried to turn on the white pickup, and all of a sudden it was, uh, it was, uh, really, really bad. Uh. very okay I was driving so fast on the uh, a four-wheeler ATV I try to go pick up my brother and uh, no it was it wasn't a car crash it, I was trying like a four-wheeler you know like like a, a type of buggy you know what uh, but it, it's a type of buggy when you drive on four wheels it's but it's not a Jeep and it's not a doom buggy, it's, that's a type of buggy, you know, like, go off-road, and I was trying to go, and I was making the curb, and I was driving too fast, I hit a ditch, and all of a sudden I plowed right through, and I, and I, I was leaning too far forward, I couldn't, I, I kind of forgot how to stop. I was only so focused on picking up my brother and then I fallen off and fell on my left side of my forearm and broke it in two pieces and and I got up and my left arm was broken. My left forearm was broken, but it didn't stop me and I going uh, without thinking on the pain and I was, I was starting to pass out. My eyes were starting to blur, and it was starting to get blurry, but I still kept on going, and I still looked both ways across the street, without, uh, yeah, looking at cars and pedestrians, and what I was doing was superhuman. Or should I say almost supernatural? Yeah, it was a near-death experience. I am not kidding, LaFlash. What I'm telling you is 100% real. Completely real. And it happened on Monday after I ended this live stream. Completely on a Monday. And it was very... It was something, yeah. I, I literally faced death in the eyes. Um, on Leo's being, uh, 
That's right. The Red Knight is correct. What he said is true. He said, I have literally faced death in the eyes, and that is me, La Flash. It was a near-death experience. <laughs> it is a teddy bear, to be honest. Yeah, I know it. What you can display on the chat is on what I can see, but what you display on that's on the PlayStation broadcasting is is different. Yeah, um, I have a brother who goes to school and from where he's going to, if you want to know the Red Knight. Oh, that's right. Another, mm -hmm. um, oh my, it, it hurts. I went, I can actually know what it felt like, La Flash. It is really true. Another person's accident, like, do I have someone I have in mind? Nurse at Gray. Hmm. No, that doesn't work. Person's accident. Someone who I have, yeah. It's. Oh boy. Having a near death experience is like, oh my gosh. this close to, to pass away. To be honest, I have no idea how was I able to, uh, I have no idea how was I able to, you know, hmm. to stay alive that long. Another person's accident. Who do I have someone in mind? Uh, so it's not him. I, I will look flash. I promise. I mean, it is just... Oh. 
try to do a live stream on this because uh, hopefully I might be able to put up those comic strip thumbnails to uh, it's uh, yeah um, oh boy I'm going to have metal plates in my right in my left arm and it's just and some people are gonna call me Iron Man because what I have which is a funny way to show it. <laughs> it is, it is, a, it is just strange to be a So. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what do I, I can't remember which one it was. Hmm. Let's see. I, I'm trying to remember something from back with the K-Wings Let's Plays, and, uh, Oh boy. Hmm. No, what do we do? Uh, so another person's accident. What? How am I supposed to find another person's accident? There's something that I have in mind. to remember but it's not that e it's not that easy I mean it can be hard I mean, it is hard to be honest hmm. let's see tried the urn already? I have not tried the urn. I mean, another person's accent is something what I have in mind. No. That is not it. Uh, and I thought that was it, but nope, that is not it, Kyle. Wrong. I 
think I'd rather quit while I'm ahead. Yeah, I don't have proof left from when I have those psyche locks. So that is my guess. So yeah. Uh, What do you know? Back to Karine Village. Mm. It's just a... Uh... <laughs> I don't know what to do without you guys. I mean, really, to be honest. I mean, if if I were to pass away, I would. This channel would be on a standstill, and what happened it will be to be gone. And I, I, I don't. But it's not my time. I want to keep going. I do not want my channel to end. I do not want it to stop for some reason because of my of what my of what happened to me because I have you guys with me all the way and I know I should be careful not to drive so fast again remember how to of course I forgive her y'all well I guess I can you did help my out too after all yeah for real I'm still what <laughs> gonna give me all this info for free? Well, that is not talking money. Now I know this one's an alien clone. Alright. If Maya's not the real murderer, then who do you think it is, Lana? You mean Eeny Miney? Suspects Eeny, huh? Which means she might have already found some info about our mysterious Eeny. about this girl. Really? She's the one that Dr. Gray wanted to call back from the spirit world? I heard as much. I also heard that Edie was the one who introduced Dr. Gray to Karine Village. You want, uh, yes, uh, sure. Uh, what about Mimi? All right, all right, and she calls herself a journalist. All right, Edie Miney. Speaking of Edie, do you have any other information about her? Well, what is it? 
here I thought free meant no money necessary. A uh, half a year ago? Hospitalized, but why? All right. The clinic's address. Hmm, what's that supposed to mean? You didn't actually go there? Spoiled gumbo sounds... Ooh, I mean, don't blame this on... Never mind! Looks like I don't have much of a choice. Better go check out this potty clinic. Not. June 21st, Hottie Clinic, Reception. So, this is where Edie was hospitalized. Oh, how do I... Let me see. Um, I'm gonna... Let's see if I can sound... Whether I can sound like Golem, or I can sound like Master Yoda, whichever works. Or, you know, like... Are you here to visit a patient? <laughs> uh, yes, are you a doctor here? Yes, I'm Dr. Hotio. <laughs> Gollum, okay. Okay, I'm gonna try Gollum. I'm Dr. Hotio. Woohoo! I didn't think I'd be speaking with the director himself. Yeah, so what can I help you with? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'd like to ask you a few questions about Miss Eenie Miney. Mm, Mr. Miney, Miss Eenie Miney? Director's white lab coat. Okay, okay, I got it all. Yes. <laughs> What's that poster? What's that poster, man? went off somewhere. Oh, the inhumanity. Only person I can talk to is this guy. Ugh. I don't know. Why not give it a shot? Uh, so what exactly do you treat at this clinic? Yes, we treat all sorts of Doctor Clinical Stuff! Uh-huh, yes! Look at this! <laughs> uh, Doctor E. Clinical Stuff, really? Why well, don't you know actually know a particular kill about the details? <laughs> um. Oh, what is that look for? 
Plastic surgery here, it seems. Mm -hmm. It seems. Yes, uh -huh. it seems that way. Um, okay. Uh, what do you know about Miss Eenie Miney? Are you talking? Yes, that girl. She was transferred to the General Hospital. From the general hospital to here. What kind of surgery did she need? Mm, yeah, she needed surgery. It was really bad. Really, really bad. You're talking to your dog? What? Wow. So what kind was it? Oh, yes. Uh, no, 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 no. You see, that is something. No, oh, I cannot tell you. I can't tell you, please. So you say with a happy smile on your face, Mr. Director. See, there's this thing about how doctors aren't allowed to talk about patients. It's in all in the TV shows, too, right? You've seen them, right? Yes, marvelous, yes, right? I'm never going to get him to unzip those broken zipper teeth of his, at, of his at this rate. There's gotta be something I can show to this old coot. From this. Blank and boring. Attractive items, huh? Uh, no, that doesn't work. Let me see if I can present. Uh, hmm. About this person. I feel like, I feel like somewhere... Hmm. Where did I put this person? Hmm. Yes, you turned it back to us. Back to us, back to us, back to us. This is a fraud, I think. Hmm. What do you guys think of my voice method, my own method voice acting, if you want to know? So, is it pretty straightforward or something? Attractive magnets? What? <laughs> Wow! Oh my goodness, okay. Well, when she comes tomorrow for her consolation, I'm sure we can get reacquainted. <laughs> I don't believe this. Okay, what about this girl? I mean, what about this young woman? Mm. Miss Eden is really cute in this picture, you'd agree, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Maybe the next time she has a big accident. Mm, yes, you know, like an attractive magnet. Mm, magnet attractive as yes. <laughs> I'll tell her for you. Mm, yes, please. Mm, be ready. Mm, ready, 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 ready. Got nothing. An F for me. Hmm. Oh boy. Hmm. No, that doesn't.
peculiar patient who claims to be Director Hadi seems to be extremely healthy. Hmm. I'm going to examine. This patient is undergoing rehabilitation. And look at the strange face twisted in all those ways. And they really sweat. Hey, don't just turn into my monologue like that! Oh, oh man, I'm disconnected again! back again. Sorry. Okay. So, yeah, that's Director Hottie. <laughs> it's kind of funny how he, wor how he works with, uh, with people like this, anyways. yes, mercy, yes. Please, you're, s you're scaring me. <sighs> oh my gosh. Hi, Simons! And yeah, Kyle is gonna give you the the summoning up, if you want to know. This is the clinic's desk, uh, clinic's reception desk, but it doesn't look like, uh... Um, Hi, uh, Starlina. Welcome to the live stream, and Simon. So, what Kyle is telling you is true. And, um, I broke my left forearm when I ended that live stream on a Monday afternoon, and, uh, I was trying to go pick up my brother, and I was, and I, the, the white pickup truck was not working because the battery was dead, so I had to drive a ATV four-wheeler, and I was driving so fast, and then I was trying to make that curb, making that turn, I was still going too fast, and I hit a ditch, and went through a fence, and, um, and then I fell off because I was leaning too far forward and I landed on my left forearm to brace myself for impact and I broke it in two pieces. So, yeah, in other words, I had to get back up and I almost died. I'm not kidding, Simon's an ex Starlina. I almost died because uh, I wasn't going to make it. My my physical body, I, I, I didn't feel the, I didn't feel the pain, and because of what happened, and um, I was only so focused on picking up my brother from school, and because of that, and because of that, um, what I did was like almost supernatural. I, my physical body was about to give up on me, but my soul did not. It just kept on going. Completely kept on going. It was... It is just... I was at a near-death experience, to be honest. And, uh... 
I almost didn't make it if you want to know, so... So, yeah, I... I was kinda... How do I say this? I almost, um... I wasn't, I didn't kind of lose a lot of blood, to be honest, but the bone was broken off my skin from my left side, and I, I was not going to make it Simons and X Starlina. I, to be honest, it was a really, it was a really scary moment for me. I would not be able to see any of my family or friends, including you guys, because, uh, it was, um, it, it was frightening. to be honest, Simons, but it's, I almost died, to be honest. My eyes were, I, I kept on going by driving the ATV four-wheeler to pick up my brother and looking both ways across, on the road across the street, watching for pedestrians and automobiles and drivers. And, uh, and to me, and it was almost superhuman, or should I say supernatural. My body, I was about to pass out. I nearly passed out. My eyes were blurry, but I was still be able to keep going, and I did not quit. I, I just kept on going and did not quit. <laughs> It was just... It, it was just unbelievable. That's how it happened, I mean... I'm sorry for, for making you worry, Simons, it was... I wonder if x Lena is still in the live stream, or if she is hearing me right now, I mean... I mean, I talked to you about what happened to this, and it's, um... It was... It was, it was a very painful... a very painful way to remember. Oh my. Wow, getting whipped by 
my her is a funny feeling. Oh my god. some titanium plates that's covered from the top to bottom. Yeah, and some people are going to wonder why why you have some plates on you because I'm Iron Man. <laughs> so yeah, that is a um, that is a very funny way to to put it in. somehow in one way or another I'll never know oh, so yeah I'm doing great Simons if you want to know I mean I'm on the road to recovery tried the profiles, but he's only interested on looking at other... Still streaming is what Simon's. Uh, I'm, I will get some rest, but I want to finish this part first, and then I'll 
stop, and it's that's the reason why I have to continue. something. I got an idea. This. I, kn I know, Simons. I know. I know I'm gonna get some rest, and I know I, I should. Seems I'm gonna be holding off for the premieres, if, if you want to know, so... Secret, huh? Not the real director? Anyone with a half a fly's brain knew that! Uh, uh, what do you mean? Do I have to explain this to him? Hold on, I'll give you something real information, okay? I'm certainly this Kleenex. See, I'm what this place is. Walking to Chimpedia! Yes! I'm walking to Chimpedia! You mean a walking encyclopedia? Yeah, that and my specialty is in your suitcase and with happy patients! Yes! <laughs> There's nothing I don't know about them, but I can't get famous talking about it! Yeah. How about you keep that in information to yourself? Oh, you want to know about Little Miss Eeny Miney? What? Little Miss Eeny Miney? The girl, I don't know how special I am. Really, how special I am. Okay, tell her what you know about her. We're going to not trust me, I will. The girl, that's right, she was transferred here from the general hospital. That was, um, yes, a year ago, she was one of those emergency cases. What was she ill with? No, uh, no, 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 she was injured. Not ill. With my trained eye, I could see. Yep, I could see it was a huge wound at that. Me so proud of you! <laughs> no, it's not Jar Jar Beaks. Her green blood was ripped away and there'd be bandages and her arm was in a cast. That sounds pretty severe, alright. Yes! And don't worry, your friend who never heard Spider-Cop is listening to this as well. It was an accident, an accident, and scary, yes! A car? You mean it was a traffic accident? Yep! At what gave were the terminal injuries? I swear it was in the papers. <laughs> yes, I looked it all up. I did. It was terrible. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Dare I even ask what is wrong with this old guy? Just now you mentioned something about a big operation. Are you talking about Miss Edie's operation? Yes, Miss Edie's. But, uh, that was one heck of an accident. And yes, her whole face was burned on that red toast. It was very, 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 very bad. Was it really that bad? Um... It was a good thing that Miss Edie had a picture of her son. I heard the picture was how they put her face back together. Picture? That girl, she, she, had, uh, she had gotten her license. 
Gucci sausages, happy to have a blessed spot of my room. Yes! Oh, so see, I got a picture. Hey, wait, do you remember her? Yes! Well, more like three. Uh, breach of ethics. Oh, wait. What do you a pretty girl like her? I bet she has lots of pictures of herself. It's a treasure, my treasure. My what happened to the actual license itself? Who oh, knows? I didn't bother to ask. That probably got burned up a look at the car. Mm, yes. License photo. Edie's photo for her driver's license. Director Hottie's treasured possession. The accident. Uh, so you looked up information on Eni's accident, correct? Yep, yep, sure did. Uh, yes. I read every paper that covered it up the table. What kind of accident was it? Do you remember? Uh, yes, hold on. How do I get through the article I mean? Where do I mean? Uh, you have it. Excessive to the max, but I bet I could learn about how to stay on a lead for this guy. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yes! According to this, Miss Eddie was in a passenger seat. The passenger seat, huh? A dozen. So it seems. A strong child woke her up. And the next minute, a seal fight around her. Miss Eddie fought over the door, finally got it to open, and somehow managed to get away! Beautiful! You can read all the details and even find Yes! <laughs> Weird! Newspaper clipping 2 updated! A new clue, I should probably look this over. It's been a couple of years since Miss Eddie had her surgery and got better! She was discharged sometime in December last year. It's already been half a year, huh? Yes, so how was I? Was I real help? Was I? Say yes. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Oh, yes, well then I better get back to my room then. Tell Miss Edie, I said hi, okay? Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, it's time for me to leave, too. Um, yeah, okay, it's definitely time for me to leave. Yeah! Oh, wow. Yeah, I found out a few things, I guess. Called the cops? What? Why would Morgan call the police? Oh boy. Morgan. Well, I guess you could put it that way. Small, really. Yeah, what a mess. Hey, hold on! That's stuff you were just talking about. That's the first I've heard of it. Well, excuse me for not keeping up with gossip while I'm busy saving people. You said something about stealing the master's seat. Misty Fay, but what? Morgan was supposed to become the master? Do you know where Eni is, Lotta? In the gar round that garden in the middle, okay, thanks. Yeah, I've got a whole list of things only she can clear up for me. Now, about the master. The eldest daughter? 
Misty Faye's older sister. Really? They say the older sister is usually the one with more spiritual power. Come to think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. She warned me not to take Mia's powers lightly. Really? I see. So, is that why she's all upset? Because she wants to become the next master, but she doesn't have it? She does realize she's going to be adding crimes to her list. But not yet. But she will be. Back to the meditation room. The winding way. Yeah, I think I have enough to find for secret. Oh, you'll find out sooner or later. Okay. Let's present. Take it! The traffic accident. Please tell me about the traffic accident. Your sister's accident, naturally. something about another person's accident. All right, let's change the topic then. How about you tell me about a certain other person's accident? Hmm. Highway of Nightmares, May 24th, late last night, two women's car crashed into a highway center Divide. One of the women was not able to escape on the flaming wreckage and died in the site. Ongoing investigation revealed that the driver had fallen asleep at the wheel. This Eeny Miney holds interview about crash. I was like totally tired and I dropped off to sleep. Then there was this crash and like I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like still half asleep and I opened up the right door and like got out and I don't like remember anything else. A doctor lurking in the shadows. If Miss Eeny Miney is to believe, the one driving the car was her sister, Mimi Miney. Mimi Miney was the nurse at Gray Surgical Clinic where 14 patients were accidentally overdosed to their death. Is this then just a mere coincidence? Another person's accident. Eeny's photo for her driver's license. Director Hottie's treasured possession. Why are you on me, Sunny?
you about your own car accident yes you it was that driver's license I should have known can I prove that you were in an accident um Things. Would you take a look at this? It's a newspaper article from one year ago. It says, Miss Eeny Miney holds interview about crash. You suffered a very bad injury and had to be admitted to a hospital, correct? What now? That's not you? What? about your sister's name Mimi Miney is in here too you think I'm going to let you get away with that do I have something that do I have something that that, that totally says that you were Hospitalized. like we were hospitalized and yet I have no idea wait a minute hmm. Okay, so who who do I have something that I was hospitalized? Okay, do I have something that, that says I was hospitalized? Double the bars or something. E.T. picked him up. What? That was weird. Like, okay. Okay, I know it's not Amy Faye. I want to say it's Director Hottie, but it's not him, to be honest. Dr. Turner Gray, Gray Surgical Clinic Director, had a malpractice incident, murdered during a channeling.
And there's the newspaper clipping article number one. One year ago on May 2nd, 14 patients died from malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. And that's the guide map of Faye, of Faye Manor. And that would be the newspaper clipping, May 24th, last night, late last night, two women's car crashed into a highway center divide. One of the women was not able to escape the flaming wreckage. Ongoing investigation has revealed that the driver had fallen asleep at the wheel. Miss Edie Miney holds interview about crash. So... He said, I was like totally tired and I dropped off to sleep. Then there was this crash and like I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like still half asleep, but I opened the right door and like got out. And doctor lurking in the shadows. If Miss Eeny Miney is to be believed, the one driving the car was her sister, Mimi Miney. Mimi Miney was the nurse at Gray Surgical Clinic where 14 patients were accidentally overdosed to their death. Is this then a major coincidence? Hmm. Take care, Kevin! Oh, I thought you were leaving. Okay. We are heroes. <laughs> hmm. Do I have... Do I have something that totally says that you were hospitalized? Where does it say that where that she was hospitalized? You know, I think I'm gonna figure this out, but, hmm. Eenie's photo for a driver's license director Hottie's treasure possession. That one. It is. Take that! This is your proof. Again! I got this from the hospital where you were hospitalized at. Uh-huh. There was a certain patient there. He's quite a fan. As a memento of your stay, he stole this. I have to say, this photo looks like you. Uh-huh. Now are you ready to tell me about the accident? Yes? Not totally not related to this murder. Actually, it is. Look at this article. It says that one of the women died, correct? That woman who died, who do you suppose they mean? Do you suppose the woman who died in that accident could be? I happen to know who it is. Pretty, let me see. Is it Mimi Miney? I believe it was your sister, Mimi Miney. Why didn't I show about the license again, about a treasured license? If I'm going to be a good listener, I need to listen well, even while I'm injured in real life. You were riding in your sister's car when she drove. The two of you were together when your accident occurred, making it one and the same. Bingo! Unlock! SUCCESSFUL! Now you're gonna talk about this? Riding in that car with your sister, yes. Wow. 
on your way home. I did it, Kyle. Wasn't easy to pull it off, but I did it. I did it. It was really hard, to be honest. But thanks to the K-Wings, I had to get a good look at uh, on one of their videos and got a good look at remembering. And your sister, you couldn't do anything to save her. And the car was full of smoke and you couldn't see anything. I understand, Kevin. And now, Dr. Gray. Dr. Gray really caused that accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills. This, this does give Eni a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray. Uh, what do you mean? Are you trying to hide something from us? What? Humble pie? Um, I don't know where this is going from. Wow. June 21st, Karine Village. Looks like something's up. Oh, hey. Well, I'm not gonna hurt. So, where is she going? Don't make that face. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you something. Great. Here, look, it's a real... Uh, Wow. Uh, sorry. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. I mean, poor gumshoe being dragged off by the ear like a, that of Morgan. Ow. This has never happened to you before, hasn't it? Pearls? something anything I'm terrible at this not for me she'll be all right I think I've gathered I think my partner here spider cop as well has gathered enough evidence including the rest of the alliance yeah but I can't just leave you here all alone either Her stare is really piercing. <laughs> As I remember when going back to the detention center, we had like psyche locks. Mia, along with Zatsune Miku's waiting. I think I have enough evidence and information now. We think. I wouldn't say it's a heavy weight to bear, more like a burden. I will be alright, Kevin. I promise. Don't worry. I'm a survivor. Memory serves. 
Mia had a few psyche locks of her own. Mia, I'm ready to unlock the last piece of information I need to know. trying at times able to see other people's secrets. A battle of wits against me. is all about a spirit channeling and I feel like I don't understand a thing about it. Yeah, I guess you're right. But who is Satsune Miku is being channeled by someone I'll never know. that me being able to see you is just a fairy tale too. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see if we're gonna get ready to unlock this. Let's present. In three, two, three psyche locks about the murderer. Yes. Tell me, who do you think I'm protecting? Okay, it's either Maya or Morgan Fay. And I know it's not... I, I can't be herself. All right. Take care of the flash. I will feel better, I promise. And I think I will not be able to put up premieres for quite some time, to be honest. Especially on live streams. So, it's either Maya Fe who do I, who does she protect the most? But it's Morgan Fay. I thought it was, I, I was stuck between with Maya and Pearls, but I went with Morgan, as I remember. Morgan Fay, of course. There is no one else you would protect like this, Mia. That's one. Your aunt was outside with everyone else. So while the murder was being committed, her aunt was outside with everyone else. She already has an alibi. Suspicion. Show me you evidence that would cast suspicion on your aunt? Oh boy, uh... 
Try to okay. I know it was Morgan Fay, but it's got to. How do I let me see? How do I evidence that would cast any suspicion on? Wait a minute. Why would okay? So I knew that Mia would protect her aunt for something like this, yes, but how about showing her evidence by telling her cast suspicion on her aunt? Let's see, that's unburned remains found inside the garden incinerator, small amount of blood is on it. Not sure about that. I don't want to guess the wrong answer. Of course, we do take chances, make mistakes, and getting messy. And that's what it counts. is this black key right here. At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had possession of this key, and yet somehow it magically ended up in the incinerator in the center garden. There's only one person who could have done that, but that I was busy calling the police. The person taking care of Maya, Morgan. What's that look mean? Huh? When did the key find its way into the incinerator? Long after? But that's... That prosecutor would use something this small to shred my cakes? Do I have something other than the just a key that casts suspicion on Morgan? Well, of course! Not saying I don't! Is the unburned remains found inside the garden incinerator the small amount of blood in this cloth? Take that! I knew it! This is the other piece of evidence that points to Morgan as the culprit. I also found this. Bit of lag, can't read the evidence details text. Sorry, uh, even though it's a bit of uncompromising from what's going on on the pixel frame issues, there's nothing I can do. But once it's once I finish this, it's done. I also found this in the garden incinerator. It's the same material as Maya's costume, except for the splotch of blood. But this is... But this is what Maya told me. While I was channeling, the key was sitting inside my sleeve. And both the key and this piece of cloth were found inside the incinerator. Which means that this piece of cloth was part of Maya's costume. That just means someone changed her clothes. I don't know why, but there is only one person who could have done that. Uh-huh. 
Always Morgan Fay. Only one Psyche Lock left. However, what? Your aunt has an alibi. Yeah, she was with us the whole time. I don't have to present solid proof of this for you? If my aunt is the culprit, then how did she commit the murder? How she did it, huh? In order for what... In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Gray, who or what did she need? Who or what did she need? Hmm. Wait a minute. Hmm. It's not the key. Hmm. Okay. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Gray, what? Who? Wait a minute. She said, who or what did she need? Who did she need in order for my aunt to murder Dr. Gray? Who did she need? Are you sure it is pearls? Hmm. Okay. She 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 may say what, but how about the words who? No, not pearls. Uh. That was not the right answer. Hmm. I think in order for my aunt to murder Dr. Gray, she needed somebody in a kind place. Miney. Miney. Eeny Miney. Eeny Miney. That's her. Eeny Miney, she's the answer to the final question. She needed an accomplice. She couldn't do this all or by herself alone. We're in cahoots. Unlock set. Oh. Welcome back, Simons. Yeah, she needed an accomplice. I remember she needed someone. Morgan Fay needed somebody. She needed an accomplice to commit this. Who is close to Dr. Gray the whole time, and it's none other than Eeny Miney. Well, Morgan already has an alibi. But we have one big problem on our hands. We don't have a motive. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Gray? Why would she have to? Also, we don't really know for sure that she was cooperating with Eve. doesn't have a clue either, huh? Including Zatsune Miku. Huh? Why would your aunt do something like this, and why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? 
I think I know why she wanted to do this such an underhanded fashion. She wanted to put the blame on Maya because if that were to happen, she would be the new master because since her older sister, Morgan's sister, had that Karine channeling technique besides Morgan's daughter or cousin or yeah, but Morgan's daughter, Pearls, she possessed the Karine channeling technique because it would remain strong on her family because she is jealous. Morgan Faye was jealous of her sister and her other, including her niece. Maya Faye. Mia and Maya's mother. Mm-hmm. I figured it out. Morgan Fay wanted to put the blame on Maya Fay so she could so she will take the fall to commit the murder and she won't commit the murder of what she had done. That's why she wanted to get rid of her so bad. But once it comes to trials and tribulations, she's going to commit another act. what? She's going to add another 20 years of jail time. And we'll be sending another mailman messenger to myself. Hey, I have a Christmas present here. It's another 20 years of jail time that you committed this. Plus another 20. In other words, for the rest of your life. Yeah. Morgan LeFay equals Morgan LeFay. <laughs> to be continued. Wow, it gets harder from here on out. I'll give you this. It gets harder from here on out. title screen and I do believe this is the end of our live stream for the time being until I have my left arm back in tip-top shape and I will still be able to do the Halo series once I feel better and stronger if you want to know and I promise you guys and now my premieres are kind of going to be put on hold for the time being because of what happened. However, I can still be able to do one-handed, of course, just because of that. But who knows? I might be... I might do the premieres on a weekend just in case if that were to happen. So I should be fine. And I'm really sorry you guys that I'm that I almost passed away it because I wasn't going to be able to make it but thank you guys for your yeah Morgan Le Fay equals Morgan Le Fay <laughs> my time to rest Simons I promise and and Kyle and Kyle and from K Wings Let's Plays about what happened to me. I mean, just sum it up. Yeah, just only sum it up. But uh, telling it too much, it will explain it all is too much. But summing it up, we'll sum it quickly about the info, and we'll tell them what happened. And I should be all right. So yeah. This is Leo Wolverine saying and speaking as always as your friendly neighborhood spider cop who finally and guess what who survives the near death experience in real life but able to make it because I have a really strong and powerful will 
by the grace of God. That's right, by the, by the grace of God. And I knew that he is the God of second chances. And I believe him. So once again, Godspeed, play safe, and shalom. Remember to fight with honor, love, truth, and justice. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time when I feel better. Hopefully when I get this cast off. And I will hope and I will definitely see you next for Arkham Twin Days. Thank you guys for, for praying for me and for your prayers and all of it. It means a lot to me. You guys are the best. You are my family. You will always will be. And I know that I am more than just a human being. I am more than just a human being. I am a young man who has autism, who has a strong will, came out and the came out from the pit of despair, facing death in the uh, death in the eyes in the face, and lived to tell about it. Oh yeah, the guy who stared death in the face and lived to tell about it. Thank you very much. Remember, the truth is always on your side. See ya.